Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 39. He will have a nine-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Super! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we'll get the kickboxing match tonight? Well, you just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to destroy their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, that's a nice strike. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent. 
before his opponent could get into range to even start thinking about striking. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And they separate. Well placed kick there by Lee. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Look at him. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on the point. He is a master in transition. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. <laughs> Blocks the strike. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Next there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He engages in the single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as they land that deep. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the boy tie plug. That takedown attempt without issue. I mean, he's cut down the side with these beautiful legs. He is over Sean now, starting to show signs of swelling. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook for all the things that happen in this position. The person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best fighters in the UFC. In the clinch, big body punch, big entire hit to every single strike. Changes levels now, DC. Oh man, he was in a single that took high punch. Oh, he flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> What a way to switch the position. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. My triangle, my triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. We expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus pitch, but instead, he dances all over his opponent's pitch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, collar ties. Nice. Good punch. Three minutes to go in round two. He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come down. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his foot on low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the other. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick heavy approach. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Strike blocked by Lee. Visibly limping here. Nice body kick. Oh! Great posture control by the point. Oh! Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Nice great punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, last the jab, after jab, after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Nice. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Nice job trying to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past the guard. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Big kick land. And that's the end of round stop, number stop, stop. two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through.
high-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Left hand punch to the clinch. Nice leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. Other than follow this one. Body shot. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make, to make some oh, There it is, baby, the seminal blow, DC. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow. Morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. Go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to <laughs> right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he still sick. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's I now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura's not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. This might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, that's a good right hand. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded in the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Get on the side. Get on the side. Don't let him keep you flat. You gotta move. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's able to transition back to side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. 
you frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting Oh, strong. and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Nice straight there by Lou. Single collar tie now. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Able to check that kick as well. some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing. Oh, late defense on the takedown, and scrambles to his feet, nicely done. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Lands a knee there, nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get it to land exactly where you want it to. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That knee might have landed there. That is how you struggle, folks. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow up. And they separate. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Ooh. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! Oh! That's the strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Seconds to go. Boy, time plump. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Punch over the top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice defense there. Huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, caught him flush with the oh, His head still attached to his body. 
The last couple of fights up the top like that. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, Super. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.